thank everyone who has watched this video series. We appreciate your open mind and your consideration of the ideas presented in these videos. I know that the interest in this direction of research has been very high. On a personal note, it has been a very interesting experience to pursue extensive research concerning this method for the construction of the Great Pyramid. But why was the Great Pyramid built in a pyramid shape? Some have suggested the purpose was symbolic to represent the primordial mound, or the pyramid shape is a symbolic representation of the rays of the sun from the sun god or other such symbolic representations. But I would like to present an entirely different alternative. This alternative is more about the synthesis of form and function as it relates to the construction method proposed in my books and the video series. The following animations will help illustrate this alternative explanation of why the Great Pyramid was built in the pyramid shape. This simple animation shows a river valley. To impound the water, our civilization typically uses a dam which causes a lake to form behind the dam. Instead of a river valley, imagine a hilly area that one would want to create a pond. To do this, in effect, dams would be created between the hills and these dams would impound water to create a pond. Now imagine that there were no hills and four dams are built all back to back and these four dams impound a pond. That is in effect what the original builders were doing as described in this video series when they were building the Great Pyramid. In a sense, these four dams rose higher and higher as the construction process continued. The following animation shows a simple cutaway view of the Great Pyramid as it neared completion. The animation shows the mound of rock the Great Pyramid was built over, and it also shows that the pond was always about waist deep. This animation also depicts the majority of the Great Pyramid consists of the rough cut interior stones. Large gravity dams are one of the best opportunities to get a sense of what the Great Pyramid looked like when it was still covered by the beautiful precision cut casing stones. The Dorshack Dam in Idaho and most notably the Grand Coulee Dam in Washington State are both wonderful examples of gravity dams. I've been to both of these dams and to stand up close at the base of the face of these dams and look up you get a tremendous sense of what the Great Pyramid once looked like. How fascinating it is that these dams, as well as the Great Pyramid, have a very fundamental relationship with water. The faces of these dams give an impression of what the faces of the Great Pyramid originally looked like. Although the Great Pyramid and hydroelectric dams operate in completely different manners, they are massive structures that were created to be infrastructure for the civilizations which built them. Hydroelectric dams as well as the Great Pyramid were operational machines that created prosperity for the civilizations that had the vision and the ability to construct them. The construction method used to build the Great Pyramid was an important factor in determining the shape of this structure. The walls of casing stones were cemented together with an extremely strong bonding agent which impounded a pond that was used during construction to assemble the Great Pyramid. But as the assembly process continued, the size of the pond decreased. Ultimately, this pond will be too small to accommodate the large floating cranes. So how did the original builders finish the construction of the Great Pyramid and set the capstone in place? That is the subject of the next video in this series.